In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the carrying value of bonds. So the carrying value is important because if we have held to maturity debt securities, they're going to be on the balance sheet at amortized cost. And amortized cost is effectively the carrying value of the bonds, which I'm going to show you how to calculate. But it's also important even if you had available for sale debt securities because you need to be able to calculate the unrealized gain or loss. And we'll talk about that in a future video, but First, just let me give you a quick review. So when we calculate the issue price of the bond, when the bond's initially issued, we just got the present value of the face value of the bonds so that will be paid out upon maturity, and the present value of the interest payments. And here's the two formulas you can use to calculate that. But we talked about that before, so I'm not going to focus on it. Right now, let's focus on our example. Let's say that Babu's Chocolate Factory issues $100,000 of five-year bonds. The bonds pay interest annually at a rate of 7%. That's the stated rate or coupon rate. So there's gonna be $7,000 a year in interest, right? We've got that in our formula here from above. And the market rate of interest for similar bonds happens to be 9%. So we do the calculations and we figure out that our issue price our issue price of the bonds is $92,221. Now that is going to be the initial carrying value. That's gonna be our initial carrying value of the bonds. But the carrying value is going to change over time because this bond was issued at a discount, right? Because it's a $100,000 face value, but the bond was issued for $92,221. Okay, so that difference, we are going to, we are going to effectively amortize. So let me show you from the investor's point of view. So Babu is raising the money. Babu is issuing the debt. I want to show you the other side. Let's say your company buys that, buys these bonds from, from Babu, right? So I want to show you what the carrying value and so forth and the, some of the journal entries. So first of all, you would debit, you debit debt investment right so you debit debt investment for ninety two thousand two hundred and twenty one dollars because you've got an asset and you paid out uh cash of ninety two thousand two twenty one let's say okay now after the first year so this so this is this here is at issuance so this is when you actually buy the bonds right so you buy the bonds but then this is this here is the end end of year one end of year one you now are receiving some interest and you actually you receive seven thousand dollars of interest so we've got a debit to cash or interest receivable whatever of seven thousand dollars but our interest revenue our interest revenue is going to be eighty three hundred dollars our interest revenue is going to be eighty three hundred dollars and so we're going to have this plug of debt investment for thirteen hundred and you might be wondering how the heck did you come up with eighty three hundred dollars there's we're getting cash we're getting cash from babu as the investor babu's paying us seven thousand dollars interest where does this eighty three hundred dollars come from and i will show you that's where the carrying value this ninety two thousand two twenty one that's where that becomes important because we're going to multiply that we're going to multiply that by the market rate of interest just point zero nine nine percent right so we're going to multiply that and that is going to, so I'm going to show you this entire table just first off. This is called an effective interest table. Don't, don't worry too much about the details yet, but just like focus on this part. Right here is our carrying value. That's 92,221. We already calculated that. That's the issue price of the bond. I said date zero because it's like day one. Okay. Date one is at the end of year one. Okay, so there's that 7,000 cash received. That's common sense because that's what Bob is actually paying you in interest. Okay. This 8,300, again, is if we take the carrying value at 92,221, so right here, 92,221, and multiply it by 0 0.09, oh, let me make sure you see that's a 9, 0 0.09, that's going to equal $8,300, okay? So that, we would say, is the interest revenue for that period. And then the difference, the plug, you can just think about that as the amount of the, the um, discount, the amount of the discount that, that's being amortized. Okay, So basically, you just make a debit to the debt investment from the investor's point of view. Because if, if we think about a T account, if we think about a T account for the investor. For this, so they've got this uh, debt investment. So they start with 92221 so they're going to now debit 1300 and they're going to keep they're going to keep make let me get a little more space here they're going to keep making these entries 
then all the, eventually they're going to get to $100,000. They're going to get to $100,000. And then when they get paid back the investment from Babu, they will credit $100,000 so that they no longer have an investment on their balance sheet, right? Because they've been repaid. Okay, so here's the thing. This interest revenue, it's not 8300 every year. It's a different amount every year. Okay, and why is that? Because now we say, okay, well, this carrying value, 92221, we add that amount, that 1300 Now we've got a new carrying value. This 93,521, that is 92,221 plus 1300 okay? So the amount of that discount that we amortize, we basically look at it here, we, we, we increase that, okay? So if somebody said to you, okay, on the balance sheet, the end of year one, what is the amortized cost? So let's assume this was classified as a held to maturity security. And they said, okay, it's you know classified at amortized cost. What is the amortized cost? It'd be 93,521. Now, if it was classified as uh, available for sale security, you compare the carrying value to the fair value of the security to figure out uh, what changes you need to make in terms of marking it to market. But we'll, we'll talk about that in a future video. Don't worry about that too much. But notice that the carrying value changes every year. Now, the reason that that 8300 now is different, again, I said the carrying value, it keeps increasing over time as we're amortizing more and more of that discount. So here, this 93,521, now we multiply that by 0 0.09. And what does that give us? That gives us 84,17. So you see the pattern? You see the pattern here? So now, if we, not, so now then we take, we take that amount, uh, th and we add it here, and there, there's it's off by like a dollar or so because I, I rounded. Okay, so there's some rounding here, but you see we eventually get to a hundred thousand. But each time we multiply the carrying value by that amount, okay, and then that tells us what the interest revenue is, and then we take the difference between the interest revenue and the cash, the actual interest received, the actual cash we get from Babu for interest. And that amount is our amortization, right? We're going to keep debiting that. So the carrying value is going up over time all the way till it gets to $100,000, okay? Now, let us let me just show you from Babu's point of view, if you're interested in seeing from, from Babu's point of view, because Babu's going to have different journal entries, okay? So Babu is initially going to debit cash, because remember, Babu's raising the money. So Babu gets 92221 Okay, now Babu is going to credit bond payable. He's going to credit bond payable because he doesn't have an investment. He owes money. He owes you money. Okay, so he owes you money, but he owes you a hundred thousand dollars. He received ninety-two two twenty-one, but he owes you a hundred thousand. Okay, so now the difference, a difference we're going to have. Let's this is a discount on bond payable discount reflects the fact that it was issued at a discount so what is this amount now 79 779 apologize if I made a mistake with my math there uh, so each time each the Babu's going to then amortize some of that discount right so as Babu pays out cash and so forth Babu's going to be amortizing that discount. I have another video where I, I, I walk through in, in detail. I just wanted to kind of sketch this out for you. So now you understand the carrying value is not the same amount throughout the life of the bond, okay? The carrying value is initially the issue price, right? So it's initially the issue price. And then it's going to go up. It's going to get larger as we're amortizing that discount. Now, if it were the opposite situation where we started where the bond was issued at a premium, so let's say the bond was issued at uh, 108,000, okay, and for 100,000 face value, then we would be amortizing the premium and actually the carrying value would be going down each year till we eventually got to 100,000. Okay, so that, that's the difference between a premium and a discount.